Oh boy. Well, anytime this film comes up, there's always a little bit of a flame war that occurs, but I think the majority... People can't seem to admit that it sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Personally, to me, I... At first, when I first watched it, I didn't mind it, but then when I watched it again about... I think it was like two more times, I started to notice more and more flaws, and then eventually, I was just like, ugh, okay, there's too many flaws for me to really say that it's a good film. But there's still some really cool stuff here, some really good shots. I I gave it like a four out of ten. Not 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 great, but not the worst thing I've ever seen, but definitely not the great film that everyone proclaimed it to be. Everyone proclaimed it to be a subversive masterpiece, and I'm like, what's subversive about doing <clears throat> about telling such an incoherent story. I mean, number one, you introduce characters out of the blue who we have no time to get emotionally invested into. Number two, you pretty much uh, you pretty much just create uh, these bullshit situations that honestly lead to nowhere, and also. Even Mark Hamill himself is, was just utterly confused. And that's not a pun based upon that, bl- that green milk sea cow thing that he, that he <laughs> milked. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's just a whole thing. I don't... It's basically, like, on its own standalone, I could maybe see giving it a 4 out of 10, but considering taking into account the damage it did to the plot that J.J. started in the previous film... And the damage it just did to Star Wars icons as a whole. Like, I gave it more like a 2 out of 10. Fair enough. It's Fair enough. Just infuriating. Well, I, I felt that too. I felt that too. And that's why instead of being like a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10, it, I, I knocked it down to a 4. But that being said, uh, how it should have ended, or Hishi, did a uh, did a Last Jedi, uh, how The Last Jedi should have ended. So, why don't we give it a watch and see what uh, see what they have to say. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Aha. Aha. Yes. See, this was stupid. Uh-huh. This was very, very stupid. Uh-huh. Oh, wow, she's floating back all of a sudden. Quick, somebody open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, happy beeps, buddy. Happy beeps. This is Poe Dameron of the Republic Fleet. I have an urgent communication with General Hawkins. Destroy that ship. Right away, sir. Ah, oh, poop. Well, yeah. I was wondering that too. The chain of command dictates that Admiral Akbar will take command. Because yes. Seniority. Excellent. Ah, thank you. I'd rather not do this right now. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. A little privacy, please. Oh, the image is burned in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're here. Well, to be My honest, Ab Driver, don't get thick boy. Like some redneck alien. Oh, good idea. This is a covert mission. We don't have time to waste rescuing horses or feeling bad for random kids. Right. No matter how sad it makes us. Right. Our friends are literally running for their lives. It's all up to all us. All right, I know. I said I get it. Jeez, we're landing in the grass. Aw, oh, poor little Poro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is my origin story. Well, that was kind of a detour to the current situation I'm dealing with, but now I understand. Darth Plagueis. <laughs> That's what I said. Your parents were nothing. They were drunk. They sold you for drinking. I don't seem to remember my granddaughter ever being sold for drinking money. 
What? Who are you? I'm Obi Wan Kenobi. This here is my granddaughter. <gasps> That's not true. Really? That's impossible. It hurts your feelings. You, you know, know it to be true. true. Now, as I was trying to tell you before, <laughs> these are your first steps, and your true parents are. Oh no. You're a grandfather too? Oh, not this again, Anna. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy too. We're both so happy. <laughs> Let's tell everyone. Do you want to tell everyone? Of course. Please don't. Ben, did you hear the news? Is that my grandfather? My grandfather! Yeah! Yeah! What Jeez. are they doing? Sir, they're transmitting a message. This is Admiral Akbar of the Republic Fleet with an urgent communicate, Commander Hawks. Good lord, not this again. What, what do you want? Commander Hawks! Do you know what this is? What are you talking about? None of us can see you, Akbar. Do you know what this is? What what is? Do you know what it is? It's a... <laughs> it's a what? It's a... What are you doing right now? It's a... What? <laughs> yes! There you go. That's what I said! Well, that's what she said Micah said, wasn't it? Or, yeah, that's what Micah... Yeah, that's what... But me and Mike... Yeah, Micah said... Well... Oh! Oh! Just off my hand! Hey, you gotta meet that quota. They're both dead. Saved you, dummy. What, what, what do you think I was trying to do? It's not about winning. It's about saving the ones you love. That's what I was trying to do. Akbar did the exact same thing earlier. Let's kiss. What the? No! This is just sad. Shall we let him go? No. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh dang, Finn and Rose just died. Finn and who? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? That I would take on the First Order with nothing but a laser sword? Yes, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. That actually does sound pretty awesome. Okay, let's do it. This place is dead anyway. But first, let's get one for the road. All right, all right. We can go. I'm gonna miss you the most. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like, shut the fuck up. I want every gun we have to fire on those two. Do it. You see? That That's is impossible. That's so much He's better. Never seen having that force ability before. Well, we have all seen you do that before, so it's not too crazy to think he can do this. Shut up, Carl. Nobody asked you. <laughs> <laughs> no. all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Now, as my first act as commander, I wish to tell everyone the plan. We have a secret base on a nearby planet that we are trying to reach. So nobody freak out or start a mutiny or anything. We actually have a plan to survive. Oh, thank God. God damn it. So that was how the last Jedi should have ended. Woo! <laughs> Who the fuck is playing? Oh, never mind. <sighs> I'm sorry. That was that was that was very. Oh 
God have mercy, that was so much better. So much better than what the, than what we got. Mm-hmm. Huh. <sighs> well. So I hope Disney watches this. They probably have, and they probably just like. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh no, they don't. They're, it's like they're just like. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could take them down because that's a violation. Because they think, oh, that's a violation. It's like, no, it isn't. <laughs> So that's the thing is fair use, you fucktards. You can also shut the fuck up and admit you fucked up. That's the thing you could do. No, Kathleen Kennedy. Let me do an impression of Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, hand me, uh, hand me my, uh, my uh, jacket that's underneath yours. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a criticism of The Last Jedi. It's shit. La 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 money 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 I like money You know you get La 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 Sorry You like money right <laughs> You get more of it if you stop making shit <laughs> Like if you actually try to do a good job when you make films a lot more people will come see them and give you money <laughs> It's just a proven fact. It's how you shit expect, works. You expect her to listen? You expect any of those jacknapes to listen? No. They hijack the entire thing. Well, if they only hear money, you get money when you make shit that doesn't well, suck ass. Well, eventually, whenever episode, if episode 9 comes out and it's an absolute shit show, and by absolute shit show, I mean <clears> an absolutely <throat> atrocious monstrosity based upon... Everything that's been laid out in this. Yeah, I kind of hope it fails worse than this in Solo, just so that Kathleen Kennedy finally gets fired, like because she's not good. For and this and you series. know what? You know what? It, if this becomes popular enough and people see this, um, you know, some people are just going to call us toxic fanboys. It's just like, no, no, we're just critical. Mm-hmm. You see, I can. I can freely admit. I'm not going on anybody's fucking Twitter and like telling them they should die and doxing them and shit and like no, no, you and, know, fucking like threatening their family and shit. So I'm not yeah, toxic. Those, I'm just those, saying you fucked up the goddamn movie. Yeah, and also those people who who did that to Kelly Marie Tran get bent for real. Mm-hmm. Get bent. And also, okay, I can't stand. I also one thing I can't stand is Ryan Johnson going on and saying. How, uh, you know, uh, how he's just, like... Look, he made his film. Congratulations. You know, good good on you. But at the same time, when you can't take criticism... That's just like when CinemaSins did, uh, did uh, their CinemaSins on Looper. And he saw it and, and it was just like... You know, I, I would support this, but I feel like it... I just feel like something dirty is going on here. And I'm just like, Ryan... Stop being such a pretentious dick. You're such a good director. It's just if you weren't such a pretentious douchebag to the point of where you can't take a little any weeny bit of criticism. You want you you can't handle a little bit of criticism because to you, criticism is death. That's How? why you made such a bad fucking movie because people who take criticism learn and improve from their previous mistakes, whereas you do not, and therefore you put out hot fucking garbage. Uh, well, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm glad we watched that because that just goes to show you just how much better Star Wars Episode Eight could have been. Hence, on the term, could have. How it should have ended it is usually pretty fucking good. <laughs> oh, yeah, well... It's like, sometimes it's just funny, and sometimes it's like, actually, like, yep, that actually would have been a better movie. Yeah, much it's better. It's like, if actually all the things they showed in this trailer happened, like, maybe without being quite as, like, tongue-in-cheek, you know, but, like, a little more serious... Of course. I think it would have been much more enjoyable. I think so, too. I think it would have been amazing. But that being said, this is what we got. What is this? What is it? Tell me what it is. What is it? It's a... It's a... What is it? It's a... It's a... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You see, uh, yeah, me and Micah, when we discussed that, I actually said I wanted Akbar to say it. But Micah said he wanted Hux to say it, and I actually wound up agreeing more with Micah. Yeah. However, when however when Akbar said, that's why I that's why I yelled that. That's why yeah. I yelled that because when I was just like, oh my, because I was like, wow, they actually went with my idea versus Micah's, which I actually thought Micah's was a lot better oh, because because yeah. to me, 
of course, when they had Akbar say it, you know, it's campy, hokey, say whatever you want. But well, when you have the other guy yell it on the other side, I, you know, it's actually, more believable. Yeah, it is because he sees it coming, and then all of a sudden he's just like, "It's a," <laughs> and then it's and a. Then, a <laughs> yeah, that was an oh shit moment for me. Uh, like during this, I was like, "What?" So okay. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, we hope you have enjoyed what you have seen here, and we hope that uh, we hope that you know whatever you feel about the Star Wars franchise, let us know in the comments down below. And I guess until next time, everyone. Signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And uh, if you want to watch the original video, link is in the description as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, peace out.